Hi, I'm Chef Rock from CHCA and today I'm going to be making a glazed lemon shortbread biscuit. These cookies, they really melt in your mouth, so you've got to try these. So first, I'm going to take my sugar, place it in a bowl, take my lemon zest, add that to the sugar, and then I'm just going to infuse the sugar and the lemon together. This releases the oil and it really adds extra flavor to these cookies. If you wanted to, you could use orange zest or lime zest just to give it you know, a different variation. Now I'm gonna take my butter, in it goes, along with my sugar and zest. Mix that, speed number six until that is completely blended. So you're just looking for the sugar to be incorporated into the butter. Scrape this down. And I'm just gonna add my vanilla to that. This is a vanilla paste. It's not um, regular vanilla extract. If you have vanilla bean, you could also use a vanilla bean. Mix that in. Then I'm gonna crack one egg into this. Oops. Mix that in. You want to make sure the egg is slowly blended into the butter. Now I'm going to take my dry ingredients, add that to the mix. I like to sift onto parchment paper because it's easier to hold than when you have it in a bowl. So I'm going to put that on speed two because I really don't want to wear the flour. And when it's combined, I'm going to turn it on to speed four until it comes together. It's about a minute or so. You don't want to over mix this because you don't want this batter becoming too soft. So that's what your dough looks like. It's not too soft. A bit of dusting flour, which is your all purpose. You want to make sure you clean everything out of this. Okay, so you're just going to knead this dough. This is a dough. That's what it looks like. It's not sticky. I'm just going to place this in the fridge for about 10 minutes before I roll this out. So the dough has been resting in the fridge for about 10 minutes, easier to work with. So what I'm going to do is cut part of this and just roll this into a log. About one inch thickness. Then I'm just going to cut these into even pieces. And then here I have my baking tray and I have a sew pack. If you don't have a sew pack, you can use parchment paper. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, roll this into a ball, and place them on a baking tray. It's about two inches apart. So that, that way when they're baking, they don't stick together. This is very, very therapeutic. It relaxes you. Okay, so I'm just going to flatten them down slightly. And then this is going in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 340 degrees Fahrenheit or between 170 degrees Celsius. So there you have the cookies. See, that's the colour that you're looking for underneath. So over here, I have my ice and sugar. I place fresh lemon juice. Mix that in. So if you find it too thick, add a little more lemon juice to this. See the consistency? Now I'm going to take one of my cookies, just dip them. Make sure you knock off the excess. It's a beautiful sheen. These cookies are considered icebox cookies, so you can make them ahead of time in the freezer. When you're ready to use them, um, let it thaw out in the fridge, and then you can start rolling and start making. Then you could add some decoration on this. So here I have some candied lemons. So I'm just going to cut little cubes. Just place that in the center. If you don't have candied lemon, you can, you can make your own lemon zest. Um, all it is is zest the lemon, 
sugar, water, bring it to a boil, strain it, place the um, lemon zest on a baking tray, sprinkle um, sugar on there, leave it and let it set. It'll set nice and hard for you. Just gonna take this, just let it sit there. And just let that set. So once that's set, you could give these away as gifts. Um, here, I have a nice biscuit tin. So you could just place the cookies in the tin and then hand it out as gifts. So I hope you've enjoyed the lesson on making these wonderful cookies. Enjoy.